Once upon a Christmas time, in the magical land of elves, the story of the smallest kind was the greatest one to tell. Legend tells of the tiniest elf discovered one fine day amongst the woods where Santa dwells and makes toys for his sleigh. Amidst the trees and frozen leaves, the tiniest head popped up with the sweetest eyes that seemed to shine with warmth and joy and love, and big ears to hear the softest sigh and a smile to warm your heart. This littlest one was so much fun, but lost and felt apart. Like the leaves that flew up off the ground, his heart flew high to greet Santa's elves beside themselves at this tiniest one to meet. Hello there, little tyke who hikes upon St. Nick's fair land. A sight to see. Are you like me among our elfin band? This tiniest elf looked at himself and thought, Could this be Ken? As he couldn't remember who he was or just where he had been, he simply smiled his tiny smile from his tiny face so sweet and shrugged his tiny shoulders too and glanced down at his feet. The senior elf then spied some help, a name tag on his coat. Property of Elvin, well then, thank goodness there's a dot. You must be Elvin, to which he smiled, ever ready to receive. It helps to know your name in life, and in yourself believe. So the elfin band took Elvin's hand and decided to take him home to Santa's shop, a happy hop for elves that often roam. Our littlest elf in his happiest self walked gladly with a grin, hand in hand to Santa's land. Could these friends be his kin? Bigger, mind you, and taller too, but inside truly true. And though Elfin often stumbled, they helped one step grow to two. Little Elfin did have trouble walking the Elfin pace. His tiny legs did stumble. Each step felt like a race. But little Elvin ne'er gave up. Twas in his soul to fly, to choose to see the good in things, though sometimes he might cry. Something deep inside him said, Your journey's just begun. Believe that your elf purpose will find you, little one. When these jolly elves reached Santa's porch, they were met there at the door, as always by dear Mrs. Claus, hot cocoa, warmth, and more. My goodness, faithful elfin friends, what did you find this time? That's the tiniest little elfin toy, a little one of a kind. Little elven bowed his little head and felt the softest hand, pat his tiniest elfin cheek. "'Twas Mrs. Claus so grand. "'Oh, my, you're not a toy at all. "'You're real, you tiniest elf. "'It's your sweet spirit in your eyes "'that reveals your biggest self.'" As Mrs. Claus went back to make some tiny elfin food, Mr. Claus came in to see what Mrs. Claus had brewed. Ho, 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 what have we here? And as the elves explained, Santa looked in Elvin's eyes and saw his spirit plain. Welcome to our happy home. We'll help you find yours, too. Till then, Elvin, we're glad, little lad, to take good care of you. Uh, thank you, Santa. Elvin's first words, how they made all laugh with glee. And Elvin, too, laughed through and through, looking up with joy to see. Then Mrs. Claus fed one and all with a high chair for our tyke. 
she filled his little tummy tom with milk, just like he'd like. Little Elvin drank quick and licked the last lick with a delicious and thank you. All around him had chuckles around them as his milk mustache grew and grew. They then took Elvin to the tip tip toppest of the attic where the elves slept best. Since he was so tiny, it wasn't hard finding a special place to rest. He loved his warm bed, a pillow at best, but bouncy and cozy and soft, perfect for dreaming and creating good feelings, so grateful for his little loft. As he lay his little head upon his little bed, a raindrop on the window there wept. Much like the reflection of this tiny elf's question that deep in his heart he kept. Little raindrop, he asked, do you dream of your past and wonder who your family is? Or do you just flow into rivers unknown and think of the places you miss? I dream as well, in reflections I dwell. I see in a mirror like you, and long for the day I will find my own way and see my sweet elf dreams come true. Then he drifted to sleep with warm little feet and a sweet lullaby in his mind. As his lullaby played, it inspired him to pray that his purpose in life he would find. Sleepy eyes are falling now into a dreamy land. Sleepy angels surrounding you Blessing you with caring hands Sleepy eyes are dreaming now Hearing sweet loving sounds Feeling the angels gentle To dreamy skies, wings fluttering in your eyes, butterfly kisses, angels send, reminding you of the light you are within. With your heart When you awake Your angels surround you Reminding you of love and light you are When you awake Your angels surround you Reminding you of love and light you are You are Morning came quickly Like the sun, he rose swiftly Enchanted he found this new day And Elvin kept listening Each thought inside glistening Something special he felt on the way. He wished to help more with all the elf chores, but could not reach the toys on the shelves. Still he would pray 
that maybe some day he could help like the rest of the elves. Yet one gift that he had made all the rest glad. They loved it when Elvin would read. He read very well, which made his heart swell, for to him it was the happiest deed. Often they'd stay just to hear what he'd say. As he read in fun voices, they'd laugh. Then he felt not so small, in fact, kind of tall, as tall as the tallest giraffe. Though tiny his stance, so grand was his glance, his spirit was sweet and stood tall. For he knew how to choose the way no one could lose. He knew to choose love over all. He felt deep inside where deepest thoughts hide. He discovered his reason to be. He prayed for the day with joy he could play, the day that his soul could fly free. Since his ears were quite large, each sound touched his heart. He was blessed he could hear more than most. He listened to others and named them all brothers, which made him the kindest of hosts. Though he wished to be more and help open more doors, he felt way too little to fuss. Still he loved and respected himself and expected he could be his own fun, elves are us. Christmas Eve came so fast, t'was the night when the cast of toys made their trip round the earth. So Santa and Slay were preparing the day for that trip for all children of mirth. He went out to check his list and his sleigh and leaned down to see if the toys fit. When his glasses fell off and broke as they tossed and fell into pieces and bits, <gasps> Mrs. Santa and crew knew not what to do as they overheard Santa then say, <gasps> How will I read if I cannot see my list for the toys Christmas Day? <gasps> Who can read easy as A, B, C? <gasps> Elvin, he'll follow my lead. He's the one who can read and fit next to me. Elvin's the one that we need. So the elves ran to find him. Time came to remind him he was perfect just the way that he was. No one else could help Santa, North Pole to Montana. His star will shine bright among us. Elvin, oh Elvin, where are you, little Elfin? Elvin, oh, where could you be? He's up at his room, Senior Elf would see soon. Our tiniest, he holds the key. Santa needs you, little E, up there on his sleigh. <gasps> he needs me, said Elvin with shock. I I'm too tiny to help. Besides, you elves work swell. I'll just wait here and watch by the clock. Oh, no, little friend. You're perfect. You're it. You were made the right size for the day. No one else could begin to fill your shoes, our friend. You're the one who can fit Santa sleigh. You can read day or night and interpret the sights and help Santa whose glasses cannot. This is your time. Your destiny climbs into Santa's sleigh. Give all you've got. So they dressed little E in warm dungarees and the warmest elf scarves for outside and carried downstairs our elven with care to meet Santa with cheers for the ride. <coughs> ho, hooray, ho! beamed Santa with joy as he saw this elfin parade. Elvin, you're helping! Little girls and boys get the Christmas they've dreamed of and prayed. The spirit of Christmas is giving one's wishes, and because you're giving what's you. The gift that you are is the brightest of stars, cause your spirit is loving and true. In a matter of seconds, his soul would soon beckon to become all he dreamed of before. He had only to be his truly true me 
and his truly true me was adored. Thank goodness he chose to see good and not bad. Thank goodness he read with such joy. For now he was ready, his soul strong and steady, to bring Christmas to each girl and boy. Santa's ready for flying with Elvin beside him, with his list preparing to read. His reindeer stretched ready, as his reins he held steady. A new team this night Santa would lead. As the sleigh hit the air, all the other elves shared a time they'll remember the best. The little voice with the choice to celebrate joy could be heard with the greatest of zest. So the legend swells of the tiniest elf in the tiniest toys from the tiniest shelf who found his joy, his power to pray, the elf that saved Santa's Christmas Day. When it's Christmas you hear many songs about Santa from the Lone Star State all the way to Montana. Frosty Rudolph and front teeth missing Chipmunk sleigh rides and mommy kissing It's beginning to look hungry, jolly Except the elves have been left out And for that we've wept Now here is our chance to make history right We'll sing about Elvin one Christmas Eve night Elvin, the tiniest elf couldn't reach the toys on the bottom shelf But Elvin, the tiniest elf Was loved by one and all Oh, Elvin, the tiniest tyke Couldn't reach the pedals to ride a bike But Elvin, the tiniest tyke Always did his best Though he was the tiniest elf He read very well and believed in himself And that's what saved Santa's day when his glasses broke upon the sleigh How could he read his list of toys For all the good little girls and boys Elvin will sit next to me And read as easy as ABC Yes, Elvin, the littlest lad Chose seeing good when things look bad Elvin, the littlest lad was Christmas Day.